Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to the second episode of Ark uh, Survival Ascended here on Aberration. This is TVT here, and uh, I'm just finishing taming up this trike for berry gathering. Why didn't I tame the whole thing on camera? Well, I've just been kind of trying to get some of the basic early game stuff done, and wanted to start recording and just fill us in on where we're at. I feel like... You know, done the whole nine yards of taming the Triceratops, taming the thing. I will tame a Stego when I find a good one, by the way. Um, there's a lot of creatures that I've tamed before that I will tame again here on this map. Uh, and, of course, I'm hungry again. Uh, I've also tamed uh, another Moshops. And by another, I mean a um, an additional Ma Chops to the one that's waiting back home. And I have a bulb dog. I have a couple of bulb dogs ready to go. Um, I've just been mostly out gathering resources, hence this, uh, trike traddle, traddle, saddle, bleh, and, uh, yeah, from there, hopefully today we're gonna have a grand old time. Goal's basically gonna be to try to get, uh, I don't know, just see, it's been a long enough since I played the game last that I'm not really sure where my next line of progression is. I do have some metal, so I think it'll be trying to get enough materials to start getting all of that going, like, Getting my um, crafting table and smithy up and all that. Um, maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll actually go off camera, finish that up, and then... Because that's what I was working on, but I figured, hey, if we're going to tame something like a trike, I might as well have some of it be on camera. So, yeah. We'll go from there. Ooh, is this a... It is! It is a high-level bulb dog. 135. I think the one on my shoulder is what? Hold on. 134, okay. I don't remember what the one I have at home is, so. The one I had at home was a 140 tame, so. I will say, levels here on Aberration are a lot better. Also, you'll notice... Oh, can I... Excuse me. Curse you! Ah! Whatever. Um, you'll notice that... Oh, okay, well, we're done with that. Um... You'll notice that the that the um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to tradition on this one. As is tradition for naming a berry gatherer. I mean, I do have moss shops, by the way, to do that for me. But moss shops, while it is a decent creature in a lot of ways, uh, and it actually can protect you a little bit. Uh, there's just something about the trike. And also, again, we're here on Aberration. We might as well just have some fun taming aberrant creatures, right? Yeah, this was a level 90, tamed out to a 134. Not bad. But, um, yeah. Um, I've done some work with the lighting. Uh, I also updated my drivers. And as you can see, I would say an improvement has indeed been made. Uh, it's, it's... A lot less offensive to the eyes and a lot warmer. It's still bright, though, but I think the brightness, as stated, as you can see here, is warranted. It, it, it's actually a thing. Ooh, is that what I think it is over there? Why, yes, it is. That's a Gigantoraptor. If I'm not mistaken, it's not a very high-level one, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Hmm. All right. I'll tell you what, what I think we're going to have to do, because I'd like to get out and do something. So what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to sit here, we're going to wait for this to, um, this to be a thing, and then we're going to go, uh, oh, excuse me, then we're going to go forth into the world and look for something cool to do. And by the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. All of those things that will please the algorithm gods and spread this video around the platform, it really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Ah, uh, man, maybe I'm gonna try and tame that thing. But, uh, I'm also gonna need to start collecting these, uh, plant fruit Zs because I need to make one as soon as possible. So because once I have their, uh, their, cr their fruit, I can tame a Yi Ling, theoretically. And by theoretically, I mean I will successfully tame one after I die two to three times. So, you know.
Hello and welcome back to The Pause Screen. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. What's important is that if you can see, uh, I've been attacked by a Ravager. Uh, correction, I, I was attacked by a Ravager. Am I still being attacked by a Ravager? Maybe. Uh, that one's level 40, I don't know what the hell he's doing, and I'm almost dead because my trike had to come to the rescue. And you will see that I am now indeed in the Metal Age, basically. Um, okay, that guy had a baby somewhere, where is it? Okay, it's over there. First we gotta deal with this one. Now, Ravagers are a bit more dangerous than they might first appear. Um, primarily... Oh! Primarily, where they where they shine is in what you're seeing right here. They inflict a... Really? Oh, come on. They inflict a nasty bleed debuff. Also, if you'll notice right now, um, the graphics are slightly improved. Um, due to uh, another patch that just dropped. So... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to get that, lock that in, and we're gonna go charge for that. Now, hopefully I don't die in the process. I very easily could, because if there are more of them over there. And, um, but yeah, the it looks like the, we have the benefit of splitting them up. But this is good. This is kind of what I wanted to do today. Not fully, but, you know. I actually really like this. The Ravagers seem to have gotten a little bit of love lately. Um... You're gonna have that. They seem to have definitely in this game gotten they gotten a little bit more fur on them. They've got, you know, their their markings are a little bit more clear. And yeah, we just tamed our first Ravager, which is pretty much what I wanted to get done today. I really wasn't sure when I started recording because I was in the middle of gathering resources and I'm like, okay. Um I wanted to I, I also want to apologize again for not catching fully taming the trike on camera It's just that we've all seen it presumably by now and if you haven't um, Feel free to check out some of my other early game videos where I go into it Because uh, I definitely do tame it uh, quite frequently in a lot of my playthroughs. It is a very constant Companion of mine throughout most of my arc experience um We're actually, we're going to be cheeky. We're going to put this guy away so that he gets a, a full imprint and doesn't lose any food. <laughs> a girl, actually. Now, it's a level 65, so it's not the best, but um, it is it is passable as, a, as an opener. Okay. We are going to need a lot of hide, a lot of fungal wood, and fiber. I don't have uh, a whole lot of... I mean, I had a lot of hide, but I used the most of it to make the saddle for this guy. So, it said there were other Ravagers in the vicinity. Are there any good ones? No. No, there are not. You are all trash. The the highest level Ravager I've seen so far is this level 65. <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess it makes sense. I guess it works. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is we're going to um, clean. We're gonna heal up. I'm gonna gather some more resources. I'll go over my progress so far, and then we'll take this um, hopefully fully imprinted Ravager out for a spin. I must say, I like them a lot more. They're still ugly, but now they're pretty. Now they've got, like, prettier markings and actual fur. They had actual fur in the last game, but it didn't really look like fur. And it was easy to compare them to a hairless wolf, and now they distinctly look different. In spite of, you know, having very much the same type of um, setup there. You know what we're going to do? We're also going to breed the bulb dogs, because why not? Wait, can we? No, we can't. <laughs> Hold up. No, we definitely cannot. I mean, even if even if they swing that way, I mean, you, you can't get a baby out of that. Anyway. Okay, yeah. This is my... The sum total of my height. I don't even have enough fungal wood. So I think what we're going to work on is we're going to work on gathering that... Wow. I went to the trouble to get this, to make this, 
And I got one in a drop. Or not in a drop, but in, in a dead inventory from a creature. Don't you just love to see it? But I didn't have to use any bolts or crossbow for it, so I'm happy about that one. Uh, yeah, I forget it, I, I guess so. And my cat's complaining, so this is where I cut away. Alright, we're actually back a little bit earlier than planned, because I've just made a discovery that is kind of earth-shattering. Um, there are baby Karkinos. As you can see from the tracker I have right here. Now, I have to be extremely careful, but getting this thing, even at level 10, well worth it, if I can get to it. Oh, yeah. Sure can. And now we want to get out of here. Or I'll fuck that off. Nope. We're good. That's a... That is a good tank. I don't know why the Spino was not angry at me. The Spino did not get angry at me. Thank you for not getting angry at me, sir. I will now kindly move well away from you. <laughs> I, I, I thought for sure. I guess the Spino was already aggroed on something else. Even though they got nerfed, they are still pretty strong, especially in this state. Yeah, you ain't fighting that thing off in cloth armor. Unless you have the gun that I have, but I'm not interested in using it unless I desperately need to. All right, how are we doing on this? Because I went out to gather materials. Uh, okay. Hmm. My stack mod might need a little bit of tweaking. And we'll see how long this thing takes to grow. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, that's, that's, in that's amazing. I mean, it's a level 10. It's garbage. But, like, it's still gonna be something, man. Still gonna be something. Actually, I might not be getting the imprint because it's a wild, uh... Oh, boy. Well, that's fairly annoying, actually. Here, let's double check that. Uh, ooh. oh, that's just my guy. Yeah, no, they do not get it unless you actually give them the... See if I can reset it, though. Nope. Damn. I think you can reset it with an actual cryopod, but not with that. Okay, so that guy does not get an imprint boost. That's something, I guess. All right. But yes, as you can see from the way I'm able to move around, it's not perfect, but there has been... Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, quite an improvement in performance that I can see. At least it feels like there is. The lighting works a little bit better, as stated. It's a lot warmer now, a lot... Oh. The, the lighting, like the, the textures themselves still aren't fully there, but they do, they do look improved too. Granted, it already, like... The shores around this area always kind of looked meh to me, no matter what you did. But, yeah, also, this right here, even at level 10, is still going to be very, very helpful. Won't be perfect, but it will get the job done. That, that was a good find. That was a good find. And now that I know they can spawn as babies, it's going to save me some trouble. I will tame them the way you're meant to tame them, by the way. Uh, because it's a Karkinos, and it's kind of fun, although it can also be a real pain to do it. Um, just gonna make some more narcotic, put that in. Okay, we should have... Okay, Ravager, what do you, where do you make that? Okay, so you make it in the smithy. I will be fully uh, converting or, or, like, moving everything over to AA once I've got a proper base set up. This is just going to be just... This is going to be just fine for now. Okay, we need 285 hide. We definitely don't have that. Yeah, I just wanted to show that off real quick. That is a... That is a big deal right there. Like, that is... That is huge. Uh, what was it? Uh, fiber, too, right? Oop. Yeah, fiber and yeah, hide is what we're missing, so we'll get that. Yeah, fiber is something we're never going to be short on, by the way. 
But uh, also, while as long as I'm here, I might as well just uh, do give the update here, the update spiel. Um, basically, what I've been doing is waiting for waiting for the the second patch to drop, uh, gathering resources, you know, trying to get some of these this early game stuff just a little bit more done. Hence uh, why I, I decided, you know, against my better judgment, we're not going to just tame a bunch of things. Although I am very glad that I stopped to do so. But I'm like, you know what? We're here. We're here. We've got this guy. Let's let's show that off. Let's show off taming the trike. Let's show off this. Let's show off this. I was always going to show off the Ravager because I really like the way they look in this now. If anybody got a glow up, they definitely did. Uh, I would say everybody in this got a glow up, but... Most of the creatures in this game are already glowing. Ayo! Uh, as for metal, uh, my, the metal node of choice that I used is up here, which is part of why I chose this, this base location, is its general proximity to a lot of good resources. Like, there are, there are some metal nodes up in the um, green zone, and this is one of them. I really need to focus on getting that hide, and we will get that. May, oh, make no mistake. Hold on. I hear dodos. Indeed. I hate killing these things. They're 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 just innocent little boys, but survival dictates. Hey, give. Uh, I have to check my rates. I feel like I should be getting just a a wee bit more hide, just a wee bit. Yeah, here's one of the nodes. See how much I can gather from it while I've got the metal pick now. Excuse me while I negate all of the food drain that I was experiencing by doing that. But yeah, I, I'm glad I decided to unpause to show that, because I saw that, I was wondering now, I'm like, what the hell is that little spider thing? And it was like, what? <laughs> that sound, that seems like a creature that they wouldn't let have a baby form that, that spawns in the game. But I'm so glad that it does. And even luckier was the fact that I found it alone. And there wasn't a mama with it, but... Uh, which therefore begs the question, what happened to mama? Uh, probably those two Spinos did. The two Spinos, and there was a Sarko in the area as well. I don't know if it's still there, but... I need to really also watch my back, because there was a Yi Ling around here somewhere. And we'll get to that. There's so much stuff I'm looking forward to now. Okay, we're actually going to put this back in the guy. But for this, we're going to... Ooh, man, this is... This is disorganized. All right, let's put this. Let's put all. Okay, put that in. Okay, I'm actually out of that, so I need to get more wood, but I'm going to need my wood right now. So we'll just uh, leave that alone. Oh, man, these guys grow up pretty quick, too. Okay, Ravager's all grown up. How we doing here? What do you want? You want to walk? We could do that. I could do that. Come on. Is that a bear? That is a bear. Oh, wow. A nice, juicy 7%. Oh, man, even these guys kind of got a glow up. It's it's not perfect, but... Yeah, the, the shine on their tentacles... Or tentacles, on their... Excuse me. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. We have a missed input. <laughs> Everybody calm down. It was a missed input. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go engage in glorious battle slash scavenge the dead and hopefully get get the hide we need okay what level is that stego that might be a good source uh, an opportunity to do that level 40 mm. hold on level 40 with a baby mm. oh 
I thought I saw something else over there. I did not. Dicarous. Yeah. I mean, a Dodicarous wouldn't be bad either, but... Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, bad. This is bad. Very bad. Bolt, reusable bola. Very good. Okay, so those guys are new. I don't think they were that strong or they would have wrecked me. Although they will have the alpha pack boost nonsense, so. Yeah, this might be a little bit more difficult than anticipated. <laughs> That's a moss shops, and we've got two Ovis here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I hate doing this too, but we're gonna kill these guys and uh, go for that ju juicy, juicy. I should be using my pick for this, but I kind of want to get, um, oh my god. Uh, I wanted to get more, um, This should do it for our hide consumption. Alrighty. Ah, uh, I can't... Then one thing, though, I cannot make a Carcanos saddle yet, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, I can. I just don't have the facilities to. Yeah, I need blue gems. So we need to take a journey into the blue zone. Unless I feel like waiting for an er earthquake to give me 80 blue gems. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna charge my way home. Or I'll hit a rock. What the hell is this? So that's a, that is a dead rabbit. Oh my god, not again. That is a dead ravager, level 25. What killed it? If I had to guess, I would say probably a stego. Although, if those, um, what are they called? Um, Ma Shops, uh, if they have a baby, they will turn and fight. Um, at least I believe so. Even more cowardly creatures will turn and fight when they have a kid, so. Uh, that bear is, oh, I know, now I know what happened to the Ravagers. That bear is way too close to my house. That bear has a cub. Interesting. Okay, how much health does it have? Well, it's how much damage it does, really. Uh, ooh. This is gonna... This is not a fight I necessarily want, but it's one I can take. Uh, 
A dire bear would also be a good mount, but... I'm also gonna need to deal with it, mostly because it's directly near my goddamn house. So it's gonna startle, it's gonna get mad at the trike, and it's gonna cause problems. So, I might as well just uh, head that off right now. Hmm. This is such a bad idea. Really? I have never been able to make this charge work. This baby does not care. God. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what we call taming some essentials. Hey, Trike, uh, hold its, holds its own pretty well. I remember, I believe in Ark Survival Evolved, yeah, this thing was grossly underpowered, even post-TLC. Like, yeah, it could fight, it, but it couldn't fight that well, being the main problem. Okay, we got that. Let's put this away. Put all the fuzz away. We're gonna give this to... I like how this, uh, this particular bulldog has turned into my preserving pin. <laughs> and if it likes to take a little bit off the top, you know, we can accept that. We can accept that. Okay, um... Yeah, again, these are all very low-level creatures. Like, this, I don't fully consider this game-breaking. Because these are very low-level tames. Like, level 60 is just... It's, it's like barely passable. Here, do I even have Dire Bear Saddle unlocked? I do not. It takes cementing paste. Almost not even worth it for the level that we just got, but whatever. Damn it. I have no idea what this thing's weight is going to be. Fully grown either or not. Probably not gr Well, decent, actually. Yeah, see what I mean? Look at that. I get a little bit of a glow. You'll, you'll see... Ah, the saddle covers it, though. So this is our, my first really, like, this is the first time encountering a mount that can semi-handle itself. Oh! Okay, Ravagers, by the way, they have uh, the jump, as we all know. Uh, they can also climb on, um, what are they called? Climb on surfaces. Ooh! Even the even the the crab has a glow. Oh, I should probably run. I'm also curious, do I inflict bleed on him? Cuz I know the wild ones inflict bleed, but the regular ones don't. Or they, I guess they do. Maybe you need a pack boost for it? Yeah, see what I mean? Look at him. Look at him, he glows. A little bit, faintly, but he does glow. Now, I can run circles around this guy, but he only has to get me once, and I'm in deep trouble. Uh-oh. Oh my god, the Karkinos are spawning now. This is a problem. Wait, what? Why are you mad at me? I'm 
I'm doing next to no damage to this thing. Ooh! <laughs> Yeah, these guys have heavy armor. Yeah, they're beatable, but they're they're tough. Yeah, they're they are indeed Ford tough. I think my trike could probably Oh well, that's uh Is that a level 75? Why yes it is. Which means that there's a level 75 baby. Before that, let's get some chitin. Oh, that's a 120 score again. I'm sad. I do not get the bleed. I would like to get that baby. I mean, it's not going to be useful, but at least I'll have it. Oop, and I'm going to swat him in the face instead. Oh my god, these things are so tanky. Die! Holy shit! was that <laughs> okay the bite does a little bit more knockback I again wonder if you can get the bleed off when you have a pack of these or maybe it, it actually does it That Karkinos is going to be a real pain, isn't it? All right, let's try and wrap this up and then end the episode if we can. I don't know how the hell we're going to... Wait, I think he's still weak to projectiles. I also think my Tri could probably fight him off, but... Yay, in roughly 30 more shots, he'll be dead. The other thing I could try to do is try to aggro him onto that white raptor. What I actually need to do, though, for that is I need to build a trap. We need to build a proper trap. I will say I need to get a stronger one of these. I'm most grateful for the one that I've gotten, but... Okay, 
Okay, I think I've gotten the rabbit, gotten that carcinos away from my base. I think that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we've got today. We've got a bear, we've got a crab, and a turtle. <laughs> got plenty of stuff. Plenty of good stuff, and all of it very useful in its own, all, all of it very useful in its own way. Not as good as it will be or could be, but still pretty good. Now, with that being said, I think I know what we're going to try to do next episode. If we can, it's going to be tough, but I have a plan. Uh, we also need to worry about getting our utility tames, which uh, we're going to need to do some exploration for that. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, this has been TBT. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, go ahead, hit that like button, uh, comment, subscribe, all of those things that please the algorithm gods and spread this video around the platform. It really does help me out. And I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I'm going to be signing off and I'll catch you lovely people on the next installment of ARK. Survival Ascended, here on Aberration.